Hello, scholars. Forgive me for being MIA. Uh, I was present in the morning, but now I'm with the eighth graders at a drama performance for Swedish, so I'm not at school. But to be honest, the performance might be done by now. I might just be coming back south again at this point. So if you have a burning question while you're working on your essay, um, you could ask your beloved sub to call me. If I don't answer, that means the performance is still going on, but then you could email me and I will answer. Okay, but before you grab a computer, check this out. Okay, so this is from Skullverket. This is how you're being judged <laughs> or graded in the national tests in English. So, bedömningsfaktorer. All right, in a hall, begripplighet och tydlighet. So, can we understand you? I don't know if I'll be the one grading you. Probably not, actually, because I'll be biased. I'll be like, oh, give them all A. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, um, do you answer fully? Are you not repetitive? Do you give other examples and perspectives? Structure, okay. Yeah, you should obviously be structured, um, you're, but you'll probably have good structure. You're not just gonna be like yucking without uh, just like running your mouth. Okay, anpassning till syfte mottagare och situation. So this would be like conversational. You're gonna help the other person in your national test partner, pair. Um, but also formal. So that's the situation you're going for. Conversational yet formal. All right, communication strategies. Uh, do you solve språkliga problem? So in other words, if you forget a word, do you explain around it? If your partner forgets a word, do you help them out? Mm, do you explain things if it's unclear? What else? Okay, uh, do you ex Do you express yourself with confidence? All of you should be expressing yourselves with confidence. You're all quite fluent, so no no reason to be nervous. Um, keep in mind that you're all better at English on average than Swedes who don't go to a, to an English school. Vocabulary, yeah, I mean, try to have good vocabulary, but the biggest thing is just to get your point across and your and show your fluency. Good if you have some idiomatic expressions, but don't worry about it. Good if you have good pronunciation, utal. Um, but don't get caught up in it. Grammatical structures. Um, if you notice that you made a grammar mistake, go ahead and correct yourself. Otherwise, don't get too caught up in it because um, I don't want you to be nervous. Okay. Yeah, these knowledge requirements. Yeah, for this one. For, for bettering out. Um, do you make improvements to your own? communication. So if you notice you make a mistake, do you correct yourself? All right, back to my website. So for just four minutes before you grab a computer, you're going to discuss one of the national test examples in groups of two to three. Please not more than three, because then it's not really like the national test. You'll notice, by the way, that I didn't give the beloved sub my seating chart, because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna trust them to get work done. Um, so you don't have to sit in your assigned seats, but your beloved sub reserves the right to move individuals who are distracting others. Okay, anyway, here's what you're discussing in groups of two to three for no more than four minutes. So back to this, you've seen this before. This is an old national test, <laughs> discos. That's that's too old for even my generation. We never call them discos. Anyway, um, ask your beloved sub to pause the video and set a timer for four minutes while you choose one of these cards to discuss. All right, hopefully the discussion was educational. Now you have work time. So grab a computer, uh, be productive. This is due on the morrow. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> At the end of class. Good luck. Email me if you have questions.